You want to become a professional ethical hacker, a professional cybersecurity expert pro, and you need the tools. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few things that I think they're going to be very cool. I have a lot of comments in my channel about the terminal and how to spice things up in terms of Kali Linux. So for example, this one here. So let me just make it a little bigger. It says, absolutely love the visualized terminal, the colors. What's the trick there? Is it automatic? So that's one of them. There's also comments about try warp terminal. There's uh, comments about how easy it is to connect to SSH and how I show it. When I show it to you on a video, it looks very easy. So I want to show you a couple of tricks in terms of pimping up your terminal. So I have my sublime texting here. So for today, I'm going to show you how to pimp up your local terminal on your machine, whether it is Windows, Mac, or Kali. And then we're going to connect via SSH quickly to a Kali system. And uh, then I'm going to show you how to install all my ZSH so you can have an amazing looking terminal. So let's get right into that. First of all, I'm going to show you how to do it on a Windows machine because there's a lot of you that use Windows, right? So I'm going to connect to my Windows machine in here, right? So here it is. And uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me just make this a little bigger here. Perfect. All right, so this is my Windows machine, right? So I have this Git bash install. And all you have to do is just go to your Edge or whatever browser you're using and just type in Git bash download. So you go in here and then here it is. So you go to git bash downloads like that. And then you can download the Windows flavor. I'm going to choose a 64 bit because that's my operating system. Here it is. And then you just uh, run it. It's super easy to run. It takes no time. And basically what you're doing is you're going to be using the Linux command line on your Windows device to access Kali systems and all of that stuff. So after it's downloaded, you don't have to do anything. You just install it, and then you're going to get a shortcut right here. So if I click on the shortcut, then this is the terminal. And look, this looks way better than command line or PowerShell or anything like that, right? So if I go into options, then here they are, right? So I have a uh, play around with the color of the background, for example. I can set it up to whatever it is I want. So I'm going to apply it, right? There you go. So maybe I'll make it a little darker than this, right? So like that, right? And then just apply and I can change the font size, for example, right here, right? So right now I have it at 14. I can make it, I don't know, 16 or 18 or whatever I want, right? So apply that. There it is. It makes it bigger. And this is how you create a shell. Uh, you can just, you know, do nano and do, there it is. So type in, for example, save and close LS, all the Linux commands right on your Windows machine, right? So this is how you can pimp up your terminal using Windows. This is the way I do it. And I like it because I am more proficient in Linux than Windows. So I love having the Linux uh, bash inside of, uh, of the terminal. So now if I just do, for example, echo shell, then you'll see that I'm using user bin bash, right? So that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. So I'm going to log off now. And we're going to go into my Linux system. My Linux system is this one. So this is my Debian Linux system. I have different terminals in here. It comes with console, right? So this is console here. Uh, and console looks okay. So this is the one I have. So this is a console, right? It's pretty good. And you can actually click on profiles, right? So you can edit the current profile. So I created a new profile in here, right? And then I can just go into appearance and then I can set it to blue, for example, and uh, change the font size and all of that stuff. You can do it all through here. So for example, this is going to be the colors that I have for my console, but I do have other consoles in here or terminals. So the second one that I use is usually my Termius. So this is Termius and I also like it very much, right? So if I click on terminal, this is the way it looks, right? So it is very similar to the console. And the third one that I used, which is pretty cool that I've been testing around, is actually Tabby. So this one is Tabby here. And Tabby is great. I love Tabby. I love the, the colors. I love the look, right? So all of these can be customized to whatever you want. So they're way better than what Kali Linux or Debian or Ubuntu come with. You can download them. So if I search, for example, for Tabby, so Tabby console, for example, here it is. So same with Termius. So if I look for Termius, there it is. 
you can all download it. So they all have different downloads for Mac, Windows, and Linux, and you can do whatever you want with them. So that's kind of how you can create your console environment to make it look very nice for you. So let's go back to my Sublime text here. Uh, so that's uh, basically how you can pimp up your terminal, so the shell. Now let's work with uh, connecting to a Kali instance, right? So I have my Kali in here. So if I go down here on my Proxmox, then you'll see that this is my Kali and it's running and this is the IP address. If you have a system that connects to another machine inside of your network, you can ping that machine very easily, right? So if you are running a Kali Linux, for example, you can just go into your terminal and type in host name, capital I, dash capital I, and then you will see the IP addresses. So here is the IP address of this machine. So my Kali, I have it here. This is my cheat sheet here, my note. This is my IP address inside of my network. So I'm going to just copy this, right? So I copy this, and then I go into Tabby, and then I'm going to SSH, then at and then paste the address and there you go so password <laughs> the right password for this which is just kali i guess there it is okay so this is my kali system right and you can see you can notice the difference there is the k there there's the the prompt for kali system and which is uh, pretty cool and that's how i connect through ssh every kali system in the world comes with SSH, which is already enabled for you to be able to connect really quickly. If it's not enabled, let's look at it. So you just do sudo su, for example. So you're inside of the root. You don't have to go into the root. You can just sudo and then the command. And so I can exit this, right? So sudo and then system CTL, then status SSH. And you can see that the service is running. It's active and it's also enabled. Right. So if it's not, then all you have to do is just start it. So you just go, let me just do it here. Start SSH, enable SSH, and then it will be running and you can connect to any Kali system, whether it is in your system or, or in your network or out in the cloud. If it's out in the cloud, you're probably going to need a PEM key or a uh, certificate to be able to log in a private certificate. And I have a video for that. So if you are curious about where uh, or how to do it, then you can check the link right below and then you'll be able to watch that video in terms of how to generate a key certificate to be able to connect with SSH-I and then the command then at whatever it is, an IP address out there or a host name, for example, get cyber.me or something like that. You can do it like that as well. All right, so that's how you connect to SSH, which is crazy because... I can connect to SSH to everything I have and I own, whether it is on the cloud, whether it is inside of my parallels in my Mac, right from here, from my office, from my computer, my PC, I can connect through SSH to everything. And I love it. Now, the third thing that we're going to do is how to pimp up your Kali system. So this is my Kali system in here. So we can do it both ways. Uh, we can just connect through the terminal, which is uh, what I like doing. That's how we're going to do it right now. The way I do it is basically by installing on my CSH, right? So it is a great tool. So let's, uh, let's customize it. So oh my ZSH and here it is. So just go in here, click on download. There it is. And I'm going to copy this command, go back to my tabby, and then I'm going to paste this in here. And then let's do it. And that's how simple it is. I use Agnostic. So if I do again, nano uh, dot ZSH RC, then it's using Robbie Russell, right? So I'm going to change this to Agnostic. It's right here, Agnostic. Let's go up, control X to save and then Y, right? And then source the file like that. Boom. There it is. See, <laughs> this is awesome. Three. Do I have to, oh my gosh, this is a lot of uh, stuff, right? So this is how I pimp it up and I make it look very nice by using ZSH. Now, if I do sudo su, you'll see that my sudo or my uh, root is still the same old Kali system. So what I have to do is just go to my root. And then if I go into this, then you'll see that I have the old Kali stuff. So I just copy. So it's just copy, right? So go to home. Your username in my case is going to be Dan and then dot oh my or dot ZSHRC. And then I'm going to do a dot. So I paste it in here and then I do a source, right? Source dot ZSHRC. Install it. Yes, absolutely. Please. 
There it is. And now I'm brute. Look at this. <laughs> it looks so good. Now, if you want more themes, all you have to do is just go back to the website and here it is. So there is a whole selection of themes that you can use for your Kali system. So this is the Robbie Russell theme. And then if I go down, AF Magic and so on. And this is the Agnoster, the one I use. And that's how I definitely pimp up my Kali system like this, right? So with the shell, you can install Tabby, you can install Terminus, you can install Warp, you can install any of those terminals in your color system and you can make it look good like that i hope this helps and if you like this quality content let me know and and i'll create it for you don't forget to sign up to our discord channel and i'll see you next time cheers